Well, hello, friends and soul family. Beautiful rising, good afternoon, and or lovely evening to you wherever you are, depending on the location of your rotation. <laughs> Thank you for stopping by my channel. This is our daily chakra energy reading, and today is Wednesday, wonderful Wednesday, May 3rd of 2023. So, happy wonderful Wednesday to all of you out there. I hope that you are all doing so very well. <sighs> yeah, today's another day. It's just uh, another wonderful Wednesday. Uh, feeling good, you know. I try to treat every single day like it's the same. And, you know, there are no days that are actually better than other days every single day the names of the days are man-made and we never actually repeat a day so the idea that uh there's you know a monday every week and a, <laughs> a tuesday every week that's just something that you know people came up with <laughs> So, we never actually repeat a day in our lives. It's always moving forward. And so, treat every single day as the same. No matter what it is that you're doing on that day, treat every single day the same. Every day you have the opportunity to be in, like, your greatest version. So choose to do it every day and then next thing you know that becomes your your permanent your vibration yes so yeah that came out of just nowhere but I guess it just <laughs> needed to be out so let's finish shuffling I'm gonna shuffle one more time and then we're going to see which of our chakra energies would like to come out for us today. All right. Okay. One for the money, two for the show, three to get ready, and four to go. <laughs> All right, so what do we have for okay today? Oh wow, there we go. That was interesting. It's like I barely touched that one and it flew out. So that was the message that meant to come out. All right, let's see it. Ooh, and so we have some secondary chakra yang energy. Card number 86, I make friends with my inner warrior. I make friends with my inner warrior. So, we've had, I think we've had this card before, maybe. Um, talking about we making friends with our inner warrior. So, all of us within us have a masculine part of ourselves that is a warrior and it does not matter your gender it doesn't matter if you are male or female everyone has a masculine energy that is a warrior and i feel that with this we are being guided to tune into that energy and to see it in light, to see it as a positive part of ourselves, and to see it as a part of ourselves that helps us get through tough times. So, I make friends with my inner warrior. So, there's a part of us that is calling out for us to make friends with it, and that's our inner warrior. So, let's read it shall we I make friends with my inner warrior meaning 
Yes, there is a warlike aspect within you, your inner warrior. He may be many things, violent, brutal, but also protective, assertive, steadfast, strong, and power conscious, orderly and disciplined, strict and aesthetic, vital and healthy, sporty and tough, chivalrous and fiery. Which of his qualities manifests in itself in your best interest and those of everyone involved depends upon you. If you immediately become afraid of this character of his characteristics and declare them to be superficial and bad, your spiritual path and therefore also your happiness will wind up at a dead end. Instead, find out the ways in which his abilities can be meaningfully applied and use them. Study the tasks of warriors in the cultures of native people, the Japanese samurai, and the medieval knights. Learn to live your warrior power in a constructive, conscious way. It is always within you, and as long as you do not look at it and learn to deal with it, it will tend to express itself in a more destructive, disharmonious way and get mixed up in situations at the wrong time. Healing Stone is Opal, Fragrance Essence is Cypress, and the Box Flower is Water Violet. So, yeah, we are being guided to tune in to our inner warrior. The, the warlike aspect within all of us but to do so consciously in a way where we have control, in a way where when it's listing all of the characteristics of our inner warrior, that we are manifesting him in a positive light, in a harmonious light, in a more, in a higher vibration versus a lower vibration which a lower vibrational aspect of your inner warrior gets into all unnecessary fights you know what I mean and so I feel that we're being guided to step into the higher aspect of our inner warrior so whatever that means whatever it means whatever you have to Whatever you feel you have to go to war for, so to speak, in quotes, in quotations, you know, um, just know that the part of you that is going to war, you have control over, and you get to choose what aspect of that warrior you bring forward at any time. So, yeah. So that is the message for this wonderful Wednesday, this Warrior Wednesday. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> oh my gosh. Anyway, <laughs> yeah. So I make friends with my inner warrior. Make friends with that inner aspect of yourself. Make friends with that part of yourself that is the warrior energy. So the part of you that is fiery, the part of you that is ready to fight for something, the part of you that always wants to shoot off to a hundred, but, <laughs> but it's not necessary, <laughs> you know, make friends with that part of you and see it as simply just a part of you that is meant to be a part of you. So, and embrace it, love it know that part of you so that you have control of it at all times so yeah I keep getting drawn back to you have control of it like you get to choose and you have control of it so yeah so that is the message for this wonderful warrior Wednesday mm -hmm. I hope that you all found something that you resonated with and if you did then please feel free to like the video share the video subscribe to the channel and leave a comment down below if you so choose all of those things help this video to reach out to a larger audience and I would appreciate it so thank you all so very much for being here I love you I appreciate you and I will see you in the next one